deeply sorry. I never told anybody to lie. I'm going to adopt some of Brad Pitt's. I'm by winning. It's not about being hot and sexy. It's about being literally hot. FM 96 Celebrity Sleaze. On the Taz Show, we have actor Zach Ward. He's been in movies like Transformers, the Michael Bay joint. Uh, he was in uh, Freddy vs. Jason, but in our hearts, and especially this time of year, he will always be known as Scott Farkas from A Christmas Story. Scott Farkas. Scott Farkas. What a rotten name. Scott Farkas with his yellow eyes. He had yellow eyes, so help me God, yellow eyes. What, are you going to cry now? Come on, cry, baby, cry. <laughs> Zach, that's got to be the role you get recognized for most. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. To be Scott Farkas is a, it's an honor. Little kids come up loving to be a friend of you. <laughs> It's uh, it's uh, it's fantastic. Now you're the redheaded kid with the the squinty eyes, the uh, the coon skin <laughs> cap on yeah. in the movie that just gives Ralphie the gears and finally gets his up and comings. <laughs> yeah, gets my ass beat later on in the movie and then sits there like a little baby and cries. How <laughs> old were you when you filmed that movie? Uh, Thirteen years old. Thirteen. And we shot it uh, in Cleveland. We shot it in Toronto. We shot it in St. Catharines. Scott Farkas, and it's not Scott, right? It's Scott. Yeah, it's Scott, which has got a really. Do you know what the word Scott means? No, no. it's one letter off a of scum, and I don't, I don't know what does Scott mean. Well, it's it's an Irish term. The, the writer Gene Shepherd was uh, Irish, and uh, it actually means uh, cow diarrhea. <laughs> As a 13-year-old kid, is it tough to play the villain in a movie who ends up getting beat up by Ralphie and crying and his name is also Cow Diarrhea? <laughs> like, did you get teased no, actually, by your friends? Or? I, went to, I went to a bunch of different schools before junior high. I went to like six or eight of them. And showing up as a new kid with red hair, name like Zach, um, you got beat up a lot. So for me, it was just payback on on bullies. But you know, as a, as a little kid, acting is make believe, and uh, it was just playing. But it's funny now; it's so weird that yeah, I was a jerk in the movie. But people are always so excited to tell me how happy they are to watch me get my ass beat, which is hilarious. <laughs> it's their bonding moment with me that they I hated you and you got beaten up. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, it's the moment of triumph. Yeah. Zach, at the end of A Christmas Story, we found out what happened to Ralphie, but they just kind of left Scott Farkas, your character, lying in that snowbank defeated. What do you think would have happened to Farkas later in life? I think he would. I think after that, we have a sequence from uh, where the Eye of the Tiger is playing, and Scott is doing push-ups and doing a lot of bench press, and he's hitting a piece of uh, frozen beef. And I think he comes back, and he he just uh, he learns MMA in the Orient. He travels for a couple of years, <laughs> learns some uh, ancient Oriental fighting techniques. And then uh, comes back, and I think he breaks Ralphie's spine. Oh, the Red Rider BB gun was not they, enough yeah. defense, I guess. He rips out Ralphie's he heart barehanded. He's shooting at him, and Farkas is blocking them with his hands, like in the Matrix. He just freezes them in the air, and then he punches Ralphie right between the legs and goes home. You know, for a guy for a guy who says he didn't mind being the bully in the movie, it sounds like you've given this a bit of thought, Zach. <laughs> The reason you're in London tonight, Zach, is for the Vagrancy Films Christmas Party. It's going on at Hideaway Records just off Richmond Street from 6 o'clock until 9, all ages. And you'll be signing some Scott Farkas autographs to raise money for a great cause. Bully prevention and after-school programs for kids. When I was a kid, uh, I started doing fencing at the uh, Boys and Girls Club at uh, my local school. It kind of changed my life. It gave me a direction. It got me into martial arts, and it stopped me from being a, a hooligan and a mad little kid. Honestly, I think bullies are kids who don't have a good home life. That's why they're acting out. I'm doing this thing where I'm trying to raise money so I can give a big stinky check to a school or an after-school program. You know, this has been bittersweet, man, because I, I loved hating you uh, every Christmas time, watching a Christmas story. But now we know that Scott Farkas is a pretty nice dude. Thank you. But, you know, if it makes you feel better, I'll drop by this station and twist your arm behind your back. <laughs> no! Ah! Stick your tongue to a pole. Say, uncle. Say it. <laughs> You cry, cry, baby, cry. <laughs> the Taz Show on FM 86. If you want more details about the Scott Farkas event with our friends at Shockstock, Taz Show blog at FM96.com. You can also support Zach's bullying charity there.